time in his Esplanade and the multiple number of sayings. Then the first few represents the preaching of the gospel of God's righteousness which must happen first. the second living being say, Go. Another horse appeared, the red one. His rider was given a mighty sword and the authority to remove peace from the earth. And there was war and slaughter everywhere. and wars will break out near and far, but don't panic. Yes, those things must come, but the end won't follow immediately. The nations and the kingdom will proclaim war against each other. The Apostle John confirmed that this depression is correct, and he says that the rider on the red horse was permitted to take peace from the earth, so the people would slaughter one another and he was given a great sword. Hence the red horse and his rider represent walls and address worldwide. from among the four living beings said, a loaf of wheat bread, or three loaves of barley for a day's stay, and don't waste the olive oil and wine.
And when the lamb broke the pot seal, I heard the pot living being say, Go! And I looked up, and I saw a horse whose color was pale green, like a corpse. And death was the name of his rider, who was followed around by Hades. They were given authority over one form of the earth, to kill with a sword, and famine, and disease, and wild animals. The death toll given by the Apostle John is staggering indeed. One quarter of the Earth's population will be taken away by the four horsemen of pestilence and this epidemic alone. If you add this figure to the death toll taken by the second horseman of war and the third horseman of famine, it will amount to periods in a period Jesus called the beginning of the tanks alone. Jacob's trouble and the concerns Israel and the Jews only. <laughs> 